Mary Hart is here to talk some more about memories of Michael Jackson. You interviewed him a bunch of times. You had a kind of access to him that few others ever did. I mean, you really got to see him as the musical genius. Harry, it, it was so special. Back in the mid-80s, when he was setting up his bad tour, Michael invited me to come down to Pensacola, Florida and to watch him rehearse in the anticipation of the big launch in Kansas City just a month later. So I flew to Pensacola, Florida, and I, I don't know if you remember, Michael had a great fear of flying. Mm. There was a hurricane that had blown through, and it took him a day and a half to get down there. Right. So we were down there. He finally came down, but I had the rare opportunity to watch him rehearse, to watch Michael Jackson in action with all of his singers, his dancers, his musicians, and to watch that for hours you never had a doubt about who was the boss, who was the real genius there, the detail to the dancers, every little move, whether there was a guitar that was slightly out of tune. It was Michael who was in charge. Now, we didn't do an interview at that point, but a month later, he said, come to Kansas City. I want you to be with me as I launch this tour. 40,000 screaming fans in this arena. I was with Michael for the prayer uh, that they did beforehand right. and saw him get prepped and ready to go. Then he grabbed my hand, we walked out on the stage together, and this was the very shy, very meek Michael Jackson, right. almost frail. Well, I mean, you shaking. talked about him shaking, yeah. Harry and Maggie, it was the strangest thing. And the moment we got out on stage, hand in hand, 40,000 people, he gently let my hand go, and he turned into the magician. That's remarkable. I mean, it, it was truly one of the most extraordinary things I have ever seen in my life. I mean, he, he just, he was whispering. You know, he doesn't look nervous there, but I could feel him shaking. And that is the Michael Jackson that everybody here is coming to remember. But the other Michael yes. Jackson, the quiet, the sad, the enigmatic Michael Jackson, why do you think it is that people are sort of putting that out of their mind, all the controversy and all the negativity? Because he was so great. Because I think we all have so many incredible memories after that concert. He invited me up to his suite in that hotel, and we had dinner together, and we spent two hours talking. And he gave me a gift at the end of the evening. We talked just like the three of us would sit Friends. and talk Friends. over dinner. Yeah. Just the two of us, his private chef at that time. You know, he always ate very healthy, but his private chef had prepared Indian food. And, you know, we talked about what he liked to do. But what Michael Jackson did and how he lived was so different and so yeah. isolated and lonely. We'll see a lot more tonight on mm -hmm. Entertainment Tonight. Mary, as always, a pleasure to see you. Oh, it's great to see Thank both you. of you. Thank you. We'll see you inside. Yeah.